reports. <laughs> yeah, I would say the Seahawks didn't even beat the Rams yesterday on Sunday. This was no. Thursday night right. football in America, and your voice is still trash. I torched it after Zorloin missed that field goal. Oh, man. What a huge win uh, for Seattle. I know there's a lot of bummed out Rams fans this Sorry. morning. I think if, if off the top of my head, I think the Rams get the 49ers come next week. Yeah. And the 49ers could still be undefeated depending on what happens tonight against the Cleveland Browns. I mean, that could be a huge matchup. We're going to find out if Jimmy G is for real. We'll see if, if it is, look out. It was a, a rough week for L.A. football. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, we're going to get the Chargers in a second because they they gave up a, a, what should have been a win at home against the winless right. Denver Broncos. So it's just, a, again, another weird week. I, I feel like every Sunday, I'm like by Sunday night, I'm thinking, what just happened in the NFL today? Like, what in the right. world is going on? Remember so. when we thought the Bears were a powerhouse like two weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get what to that happened? Too. No, I know. The NFL. <laughs> Chiefs losing at home. I mean, there's so. Right. I mean, it's like an onion. I'm just peeling away layers <laughs> yeah. of this thing. There's so many things going on in the NFL. Well, it's went old school on them. Dude. Yeah, it and it works. So yeah. everyone, everyone else is going to watch that film and be like, hmm, what did the Colts do against the Chiefs? Like it it worked, especially defensively. So we got a lot to get to. Uh, we'll even get to the Major League Baseball playoffs because Dodger fans are going nuts this morning. Yeah. It's all brought to you by Mathis and Gas. They are the gas professionals. If they were in the playoffs, they'd be the number one seed with home field advantage. They are Mathis and Gas, Rancho Cucamonga, Fontana, and Riverside. They also have your welding supplies, but also, you guys know, the strongest in the gas game. So for your backyard, your home, your local business here in the Inland Empire, Mathis and Gas can hook it up. That is MathisonGas.com. So the Chargers lose to the Broncos 20 to 13. Melvin Gordon really wasn't even a factor in that game, was he? It's an ugly game. The team felt yeah. very flat. He he got a couple of handoffs here and there, but he wasn't really breaking anything big. And Coach after the game was like, I'm embarrassed. Yeah. About our effort. That was ridiculous. Yeah. I, I like that coach. I like him. Dude. And it's basically the same team from last year that was so good for the Chargers. You know what I mean? It's basically the same guys. You gotta look out, man. Did he lose the locker room? Did it split the locker room? What happened? Right. I don't know. There's there's something afoot there, but the Chargers lose 2013 to Denver. That's Denver's first win of the season. Now the Chargers get the Steelers this got upcoming week, and we were talking off air yeah. that Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph. I don't know if you Ooh. saw the video. He took a huge hit, and he yeah. was in La La Land. He got knocked in the next week. The uh, the hit itself didn't look too crazy. We've definitely seen bigger hits, but the result of the hit, I mean, it was one of the ugliest we've seen. And kind of like broke down into just this comic of follies. Like oh, he was man. laying there forever unconscious. They finally get that him up. Scary. They took his face mask off, which is usually something you do for a neck injury. Yep. They're trying to bring out the cart. The cart malfunctioned. Yeah. So then they work. show him like pushing the cart while they're having to like get this quarterback up who clearly has a head injury. And they're right. trying to walk him off. Like it was just insane to watch. Yeah, it was, like we were saying, like an SNL, Saturday Night Live right. skit. It, it was like, like, oh my gosh, skit. what is going oh, on yeah, here? Yeah. You couldn't make this stuff up. <laughs> Q Yakety Sacks. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Where's Benny the, the Benny Hill music? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the uh, Steelers and Chargers will get together next Sunday, and both those teams kind of reeling right now. Both teams are right. desperate for a win. Uh, 40, I think it was you that brought up the Raiders and the, and the Bears so in London. Good, you know, or, yeah, in London. So it was weird. Like first, I saw what, the Raiders were up like seventeen yeah. nothing, right? Yeah. And then the Bears came back in the second half behind Chase Daniel. Right. And then the Raiders got a, a nice drive at the end. And uh, Josh Jacobs, the Alabama running back, yeah. he, he pounded the ball. He had a great game. And he I was, think they're going to physical. Jo no Josh Jacobs, I think they're going to continue to do that, right? If the Raiders can play some defense and let him carry the ball 20, 25 times a game, get hundred yards, you need that. He's great back. Just like uh, Aaron Rodgers using his back, Jones. I mean, when you get a little balance going. Look out. Yeah, and it's going to help Derek Carr. Again, this is all cyclical. you got to be able to run the football to pass the football, and you got to be able to pass the football to run the football. Right. Did you notice, though, at the end, like the disco lights that were going off at the end of the game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like with strobe lights and stuff. It's like a rave. Very a Raiders rave. That yeah. stadium over there is state-of-the-art. They were showing the locker rooms, the uh, Raiders locker room. I mean, it everything cool. in that stadium is really freaking cool. I noticed that, too. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 foot the footballers over the there, football. the soccer fans, right? right. No, no joke. <laughs> Get behind the silver black. No, they're they're crazy. It's like a concert or something. It was wild. Yeah. Someone asked me if you could be any kind of professional athlete in the world, who would you be? And I'm like, I don't know, probably a European soccer star. Yeah. Like, and it's rock star life. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Uh, one other weird NFL game: uh, the Packers going into Dallas and manhandling the Cowboys. 
34 24 was the final. Sorry. I, I Sorry. know, I know you're behind angry. that 40. Uh, but maybe it wasn't even that close. You know, I mean, no, the score is like a 10 point game, but right? man, Green it, Bay looked good. It's very strange because it seems like Aaron Rodgers is so unhappy, even though he scored so many points and looks so good. It looks like that coach. It takes a lot to throttle Aaron Rodgers a little bit to get him to hold back and get him to trust his defense and do all that stuff. Uh, you can see him fighting on the sidelines, but his defense, the Packers, are going to be big trouble. Yeah. His defense is really good. Yeah, it, That's bad. I, I think we wrote these down somewhere in the studio. I, I wish I could find them, uh, but we made our Super Bowl picks. Yeah. Right. I want to say I put Patriots-Packers, Yeah. and I'm feeling really good about I, Yeah, that. I think you did. <laughs> Going back forward. Back the archives. Yeah, so. The, uh, uh, one other big headline out of football just came out this morning. Jay Gruden, the head coach of the Washington Redskins, fired. out. Fired. So, uh, so Bill okay. Callahan will be taking over, and I guess he took over for John Gruden back when John Gruden left huh. the Raiders back in like uh, 03 or whatever. So that's Mr. right. Raider with taking over for a Gruden. Uh, everybody <laughs> right. thinks it's pretty crappy that Daniel Snyder made him get up at 5.15 just to fire him. That's Why did they just fire him last night? Because I got the update because yeah. I was coming into the station at 4 a.m. this morning. I'm like, oh. they fired him early. <laughs> they made him get up early just to say, you're fine. Man. Wow. Couldn't do it last night. They made him wake up to an alarm, come into the building, and fired him way early in the morning. I think that tells you all you need to know about that organization. Right. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're bad. They've been bad for a while. Like, I can't remember the last time they were actually relevant. Nope. It's been a while. Um, it's been a while, and I don't think Jay Gruden's necessarily the problem, but... That's true. It's another Redskins move, right? right. You know? No, so. There was videos of him out partying. He knew this was going to happen. Right. He's like, I oh, there was. Yeah, there was some stuff on social leave. media. Yeah. Well, and there was a big tell yesterday, too. After the game, they were interviewing one of the uh, Redskins running backs, and they just kind of asked him about the... Uh, Chris Thompson. Oh, the situation yeah, right. and what, they, what he thinks about Jake Rudin and his job security, and he kind of broke down yeah, crying. And it was like, that's kind of all you need to know. The players knew it was happening. <laughs> yeah. But it also shows the players actually liked him. You exactly. Know? Yeah. So, that tells me he's a good coach. Right. Yeah. So maybe it's the organization. Yeah, it could be. Just as we suspected. Right. And quickly to the Major League Baseball playoffs. Live it up, Dodger fans. A big 10-4 win against the Nationals Ooh. in Game 3 last night of the Divisional Series. Explosion, Pat. Yeah, it was a seven-run sixth inning with two outs. So a yeah. two-out seven-run rally is unheard of. I wasn't on the channel at the time. I was like, what happened? Yeah. Uh, like, you know, a, little, a scoring error or something. Two runs, two outs. Uh, I'm sorry, two outs, uh, two strikes, and they put together this seven-run rally in the sixth wow. inning to, to beat the Nationals last night, 10-4. to four. So the Dodgers lead the series 2-1. to one. Hey. Also in the National League, Braves are up on the Cardinals 2-1. to one. In the American League, it looks like the Astros and the Yankees still can, continuing that collision course. Both of them are up in their series 2-0. And uh, I don't think there's no turning back. I think it's going to be Houston Yankees in the American League Championship Series, unless something crazy happens. Right. But that's what it looks like. Well, here we go. Pep, tell me how to get your stuff. Inland Sports, check us out right now on all that social media. I know you're hanging out on Twitter anyway. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to the Inland Sports YouTube channel. A lot of great local content in the IE. Thanks, Pat. Inland Sports.